This aircraft is a Prescott Pusher. There's really only one flying in the world. And if you go to Wikipedia and look up Prescott Pusher, you will find a picture of this Prescott Pusher. N40LE. This is owned by Oli. He's a Swedish gentleman, a U.S. citizen, but uh, from Sweden originally. And he's a retired airline pilot, and I knew him from working with him. And he built this very beautiful Prescott Pusher. Has a uh, little higher powered engine than uh, the original design. And uh, this is quite an impressive aircraft. It really gets up and moves. Of course, we're looking at a very dangerous situation here. We have two retired airline pilots and me being the third. Nothing more dangerous than two to three airline pilots in a small aircraft. And Oli asked me if I wanted to fly back, and I said, yes. Um, oh, you want to fly it back? Um, sure. You do? So here we are getting ready to do uh, part of uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. Two or three, right. And I'm in the left seat, Oli's in the right. I'm used to flying a Cessna 310. And that aircraft has a very heavy yoke on it. And this aircraft, Oli's aircraft, has very light controls. So. So you know what's going to happen. I'm going to over control on the takeoff. And it doesn't look as bad on the video as it felt, but I had a rather rapid rotation. I like the um, synoptics on the side uh, with the airspeed, GPS airspeed, and altitude here.
Now we jump ahead here. We're back uh, approaching the traffic pattern at 3 Charlie Kilo, Lake in the Hills Airport. And again here I have the issue of over controlling the aircraft a little bit. You'll see this when it comes into the uh, traffic pattern. That's one of the things here when you get into high gain tasks, uh, like coming into land, uh, that's when you get in to the uh, possible problems of over controlling and the uh, the first landing attempt uh, wasn't too pretty now the interesting thing is I had flown this aircraft oh a couple years ago and uh, I flew it fairly well as I remember I guess of course that's sometimes the way memory works but I flew it pretty well uh, so this is a little disappointing coming back here that I was a little more ham-fisted than uh, I'd really wanted to be on the aircraft This is where some of the GPS airspeeds get to be a little interesting because uh, we weren't getting this slow in the traffic pattern. And we did have a fairly strong south wind, but it wouldn't influence the uh, speed as much as you're seeing here. And you'll see some interesting aspects of the uh, uh, GPS airspeed uh, later. I'm not sure why it kind of why it gets screwed up, but it does, and uh, I'll point that out when we get to that uh, portion of the flight. See, we're not doing 160 here now either.
Yeah. And the speed's a little bit off. I'm not flying at 520 miles an hour. Yeah, not the smoothest, but what do you expect well, at uh, 640 good. miles an hour, right? Anyway, that was my flight back from Battle Creek in the only flying Prescott pusher in the world. Thanks for watching. The computer shows we've got nine gallons, so... Uh, yeah, it must have shifted when we did that. Uh,